Hello and welcome back to my channel. In previous le lecture, we have discussed about what is DNA and what is the primary structure of DNA. In this video, we will discuss briefly what is the secondary structure of DNA. We know that primary structure is basically the number and the sequence of nucleotide that are joined together by phosphodiester bond and forms one strand of DNA molecule. When these two strands of DNA molecule forms then they are coiled around each other and forms the secondary structure of DNA. So it is a double stranded helix that formed by phospho by polydeoxyribonucleotide strands coiled around the central axis. When these two strands are joined together then the nucleotide bases complementary nucleotide bases are present. So the base pairing of complementary nucleotide gives the secondary structure of nucleic acid and it's a right-handed structure. And most of the DNA that is found in nature is mostly right-handed structure. So the two stand, we know that one stand is 5 prime to 3 prime direction and the other stand is 3 prime to 5 prime direction that are coiled around each other and forms the secondary structure of DNA. And the bases that are present in these two forms the base pairing. So the bases that are positioned such that the sugar phosphate chain that connects is oriented in a spiral or helix around the nitrogen bases. So these bases are aromatic hydrophobic ring bases or ring structures that are located in the helix and are perpendicular to the long axis of the helix. So the position and the base pairing of the nucleotide bases forms and helps in the secondary structure of the DNA molecule. In secondary structure, when the nucleotide bases forms the pairing, so these nitrogenous bases of the complementary nucleotide are joined by hydrogen bonds through each other. We know that the nitrogenous bases that are present in the DNA or RNA or a nucleic acid, these are governing cytosine, adenine, thiamine and uracil. But in the DNA we have adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine. So the base pairing between these bases are guanine forms 3 hydrogen bond with the cytosine GC. From this you can easily remember. And thiamine forms 2 hydrogen bond with the adenine. Adenine forms 2 hydrogen bond with the thiamine. Carzine, garage, apenine, trace. So from this mnemonic you can easily remember. So, in secondary structure, we have also an another point that are groups. These groups are basically the site of attractions or interactions of proteins through which the point the proteins are binds. So, the sites of interactions with many proteins that binds to the specific nucleotide sequences in DNA, these are known as groups. And in the DNA, we have two types of groups, the major group or minor group. The major group, the groups that in which the edge of the helix are greater than 180 are known as major helix, minor helix that are less than 180. So these two groups are important for the interactions with many proteins. And the diffraction pattern gives the three dimensional structures of a DNA molecule. So here we have a short review about the secondary structure of DNA that is basically the two double helix are joined together by forming the nitrogenous bases, nitrogen base pairing. Guanine forms three hydrogen bond with the cytosine, adenine forms two hydrogen bond with the thiamine. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and take care.